taste buds to a whole other dimension. Soon you'll be able to eat at some of the basin's best eateries, all while supporting a great cause. A lot of local restaurants are getting ready for Permian Basin's Restaurant Week, which starts next Monday. ABC Big Two's Bridget Sarpong has the dream job. She joins us in studio. Bridget, uh, you got to check out another restaurant on the menu tonight. Carson, I sure did, and you know what? It feels like a dream job. I got a sneak peek of what Labrado, located in Midland, is offering for the special week. This just gives us an opportunity to also help give back, right back to the community. Labrado owner and general manager Tony Frescas is talking about giving back. And it's for a good cause, obviously, for those that are having a hard time uh, making ends meet. Fresca says being able to partner with the West Texas Food Bank is a humble experience. It certainly is a charitable event, and when uh, and like I said, we're happy to do that, and and, and hopefully we, we can do as much as we possibly can. As a native Midlander, Fresca says Labrado is something you won't find elsewhere in the city. We are a comfortable fine dining restaurant. Our menu's a little eclectic, so it's kind of whatever you're in the mood for is what is what we can give you. Diners must ask for and order from the special Permian Basin Restaurant Week menu. We will be offering a course meal. Uh, it'll start with a few different options. It'll be a, a special a special menu that's stuff that we do not do on a normal basis. Well, Tony, we were just behind the scenes watching you make all this happen. Tell me what we have on this, you know, on this table. Delicious little take on a, on a classic, like, rustic uh, appetizer. Just a classic uh, baguette. You know, gr it's actually grilled uh, with a little bit of olive oil. So very minimal on there. Uh, smoked salmon's got some, you know, some lemon zest, lemon juice, um, some capers, um, you know, just some just some red onions on, on the top. Uh, just really basic ingredients just, just will come together nicely. The appetizer is then followed by the entree. As we make ourselves a plate, you know, speak to me a little bit of what we got going on. You know, we have the stick, we have, you know, our veggies as well. A little bit of everything from the food group. Right, yeah, this is a composition plate, so uh, so you get a little bit of everything to satisfy you. Uh, like I said, the, the, the beef is a uh, it's an all-natural grass-fed New York strip, um, um, and like I said garlic mashed potatoes, sauteed vegetables, uh, composed of uh, squash, zucchini, uh, pearl onions, uh, cherry tomatoes. Um, all that sits on top of steak au jus, and, um, and then it's topped with, uh, the steak is actually topped with uh, a cognac sauce. All right, the banana sauce, let's do it, Tony. Go for it. Mm. We just want to enjoy everybody. Our goal is to make everybody feel like, uh, you know, this is some of the best food, and we just want people walking out of here knowing that they, they got what they paid for. And you can find out what's being offered all next week by checking the hashtag Die Now and Do Good. I'll take a look at another restaurant tomorrow night. Reporting live in studio, I'm Bridget Sarpong, ABC Big Ten.